Let's talk about the cerebellum now. A couple basic functions, including coordination and balance, and then movement modulation. To do this, it has a couple of inputs and then an output. Okay, So I'm going to draw these couple inputs first. This is the peduncle. So there's the inferior cerebellar peduncle. There's the middle. And then finally, there's the superior. Okay, uh, Spinal cord is going to send information up into the inferior cerebellar peduncle. This is just information about your muscles. Um, it's called proprioception. It's where your muscles are. Helps um, send other sensory information. Now your motor cortex in this in the cerebrum. Do you remember where that where that was? Um, is it here or here? And the motor cortex was in front. And I remember, I remember that because the the motor in a car is in the front of the car, not the back. So this is the motor cortex. It's going to send information also to the middle cerebellar peduncle. Cerebellum is going to take this information. It's going to take, it's going to take the information your spinal cord told you, gives you and it's going to modulate this this uh, this information from the motor cortex and then all this this um, modulated information is going to get sent back up to the motor cortex via the superior cerebellar peduncle. So everything I just told you is, is, uh, is all these words. You don't have to read these words if you just understood everything I told you. Um, again, I'm just going to go through that again. Your cerebellum is going to take um, information from the motor cortex. It's going to modulate it, taking into account what your spinal cord is telling the cerebellum. Spinal cord is going to send up stuff through the inferior cerebellar peduncle. And then it's going to, it's going to modulate your information and it's going to send it up through the cerebellar peduncle back up to the motor cortex. So when um, when you get damage to the cerebellum, you can get a couple things. You can get damage to the lateral part or the medial part. Okay, medial and lateral. When you get lateral lesions, you get impaired voluntary movement of the extremities. That's your arms and legs. Those are the lateral structures. So super easy to remember. If you get damage again to the medial structures here, um, you get truncal ataxia with a wide base gait. The trunk of the body is basically just like your chest, your abdomen, stuff like that. It's just difficulty moving here. Again, that's a medial, the trunk of the body is a medial structure in your body, and that's when you get ataxia with a medial injury. Again, there's a low, little low yield topic, uh, low yield information I want to add is that you can also get nystagmus and vertigo um, due to involvement of the nodular lobe. I don't think I've ever been asked a question on that. Very low yield, but you can just, just there for completeness sake. Alright, so that's it for the cerebellum.